My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Thanksgiving and I just wanted to have a fun time with this movie but when I was leaving the theater I just thought to myself that this is the best slasher since Scream. That this is the best slasher movie in decades. Like, there's a few close calls, like Your Next and Child's Play 2019, but I think this movie reigns supreme. Like, it's a Thanksgiving slasher movie, and it gave me everything I could have wanted from that. Like, let's just get to it. This movie is brutal. They're willing to go there with the kills, and I really loved that. And on top of that, this movie can be really sick and twisted. There's a few things that happened here that really affected me. This movie can also be intense when it wants to be. The movie also has a really dark sense of humor in moments that really worked. So it's trying to do a bunch of different things and I think it all meshes together so perfectly. It's a really well directed movie by Eli Roth and it also is just a very easy watch. It's a fun and entertaining movie and the whodunit aspect of the plot worked for me. It set up enough possible suspects, enough motivations that it kept me guessing all the way to the end. And then the opening of this movie is just perfection. You might think it's going to be a typical opening to a slasher movie, but it's not. And um, what it did instead, I thought was a lot more unique and a lot more memorable than what a lesser movie would have done. I also thought the performances were good. Addison Way, she's a TikTok star or an influencer or something of that kind. And um, I thought she does a good job as the final girl. She's easy to root for and I think she captures that personality really well. Uh, then you've got Rick Hoffman, who I thought did a good job. Then you've got Patrick Dempsey, who I thought was great in this movie. Then you've got Jalen Thomas Brooks, who was good. Marlo Mannheim was good. Miko Amundsen, I think, gave my favorite performance in the entire movie. He's just this giant douche, but he's also very charismatic. Uh, Chris... Sandy Ford, I thought, did a good job. And then there's this one guy played by Tim Dillon, a security guard. He's only in two scenes. He's fantastic in these two scenes. Like, he's really memorable. And on top of that, I really like the fact that this movie captures that feel, feeling of late 90s horror movies especially the ones written by Kevin Williamson, like Scream, I Know What You Did Last Summer, and The Faculty. So like, this movie just got so much right, and I was just having a blast. I was laughing, I was scared, I was like, ew, I was on the edge of my seat. It was just everything I wanted it to be. Now that said, I was going to give it a perfect rating, but I don't think the movie fully stuck the landing. I'm happy with the reveals and the revelations and all that, but the movie has a climax set at a specific location, and then they change locations for the big finale, and I just thought that decision killed lots of momentum and killed some of the pacing. And the final scene in this movie, I don't think was needed at all. So, um, yeah, aside from that, uh, if you like slasher movies, I can't recommend this movie enough. I just left the theater on cloud nine. It is just a really fun time. I hope we get a sequel, whether it's Thanksgiving 2 or Christmas or Easter or just 
another movie like this, this might be, no, it is Eli Watts' best movie, and I'm very happy to say that Thanksgiving gets an 8.5 out of 10. I know everybody thought 2022 was a great year for horror, and there were a few gems there, but I think 2023 has been amazing for the horror genre. I think five of my favorite films are spooky movies, and that to me just makes me happy. It's why it's my favorite genre. But have you seen Thanksgiving? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos soon, and Gavin out.